I wasn't cut out to, you know, to work at a desk kind of job. I really wasn't expecting to get the rank that I got. It's definitely the toughest topic for me. I think it is the toughest topic for everyone. So my family, they were very happy. They I am Carol. Uh, I'm from Trishur, Kerala, from a small village called Karanjara. Uh, I did my schooling in Dubai as my family was settled there. I really wasn't expecting to get the rank that I got. So when I saw my result, I almost couldn't believe it. So still, I'm extremely happy that my efforts bore fruit. And I'm very thankful to my family and my friends and of course Think for always supporting and motivating me. So my family, they were very happy. They even they couldn't like believe that I was able to achieve something so amazing. And of course my friends, they were always very supportive. Um, and they were also very happy that uh, I was able to achieve something like this. And so was my sister. Um. So as a kid, I was always really interested in drawing and making models. But I hadn't really chosen architecture as a possible career option till I was in 11th grade. Uh, so in 11th grade, basically, I chose engineering graphics as my elective. And that kind of revived my creative side. And like, it just kind of challenged me to be more creative and like I'd always known that I wasn't cut out to you know to work at a desk kind of job um, so yeah and I, I've always wanted a job that could challenge me creatively every day and I felt like architecture is you know the perfect profession it's like the perfect blend of science and technology and art and yeah so like through learning when I discovered that architecture was a possible career option I kind of researched a little bit into it and then I was really intrigued by the idea of you know creating buildings and like you know spaces and I kind of had a newfound appreciation for the buildings around me and like all the monuments that I've ever visited so yeah I think that's that's why I chose architecture as my So mathematics was definitely the toughest topic for me. I think it is the toughest topic for everyone. Um, even though I really enjoyed doing math, I wasn't really good at it. I definitely spent the most time on math. So firstly, I made sure to make my basics very clear. I think that is very, very important. And then secondly, I concentrated a lot on the portions that were taken in 12th grade because those con those concepts were like fresh in my mind. So I was able to do more sums on them as opposed to the ones in 11th grade. So I concentrated more on the 12th grade portions. And then thirdly, I did leave some of the chapters that I found extremely difficult because I feel that more than mugging up every chapter there is, it's more important to be thorough in the chapters that you know. And I think that's what will help you do better in math. And um, above everything, being consistent is the most important thing. So architectural aptitude was definitely my favorite part. So while learning for architectural aptitude, I learned a lot of fascinating things that only made me fall in love with the field more. So. Learning this subject requires a lot of research and even doing past year papers helps. Uh, and the thing with the subject is that there is no shortcut to learning architectural aptitude. But the thing is, it's so interesting that you won't even feel like you're studying for an exam while you're learning. The first session was definitely tougher than the second one, mainly because I didn't know what I was going into like I had I knew what kind of questions will come but like you know every year there are many unique questions many patterns that are different from other years like previous years questions so that's why for me I felt like session one was pretty difficult um, even the drawing part I found the 
first sessions to be a little more challenging than the second one uh and the second one because i kind of learned from my shortfalls from the first exam uh the places where i didn't concentrate much like uh there were a lot of questions that came about documentaries and books that i hadn't really looked much into so i learned from that and i researched a bit about those before the second session so i found the aptitude part of the second session easier math was pretty much the same in both uh, i i wasn't able to do that many questions but yeah i did my best i even made a mistake in one uh yeah and drawing i think i did better in the second session but like i scored lesser i think everybody else also did better in the second session so i scored lesser in the drawing part but overall the paper was i would say moderate to difficult I joined a 10 day crash course in December and then I was later added to the Nata elite batch but even those even that little time that I spent with think was extremely helpful to me in my preparation um I was given a lot of material that was very very helpful to me during my revision and even my teachers they were very patient and they guided me in such a way that I was able to tackle any question no matter how difficult it was and even uh, even my mentors they were very helpful and they were very quick to answer any query that i had the mock tests i have provided gave a detailed analysis on where i was falling short so i was able to concentrate on those areas and work on those areas more and it really helped me score better in my exams and it think really helped me in my preparation and i'm like extremely grateful to think for that My tip to next year's aspirants is that consistency is key. Even learning and practicing one topic a day can help in the long run. Um do not overwork yourself uh and you should take regular breaks and spend time with your loved ones.